Hey guys, it's Toxin here with a new video. Thanks for watching guys. And we're doing a new 20 inch monitor upgrade because I have a couple of, uh, I got a couple spare 2007s laying around and Tulsa just did a 4th of July sale. So I got a mount and, and a monitor bezel for the 20 inch for 60 bucks. So here are some of the things that you're gonna need. You're going to need the bezel and mount from Tulsa Arcade. So you're going to need a Dell 2007 FPB with the power cable. You're going to need a Geekworm. This one is a 2.0, but we're going to use a 1.5. I just have this spare lying around that never works with anything. And I wanted to see if it works with uh, the cabinet we're modding today. If not, we'll use the, uh, the 1.5. You're also going to need a HDMI to VGA and it has to be I highly recommend using the, the Benfi um, That's the one that everybody uses For these YouTube guides So let's not stray away from what works and what doesn't work. So it's the Benfi VGA to HDMI Or HDMI to VGA And you get that on Amazon Specifically, look for Benfi. That one, I, that one works for sure. And we're gonna go ahead and set this up. Go ahead, use your knife, cut your box open. Here it is, it's gonna be all wrapped up. It's gonna be wrapped up nice and good, so make sure you get that all undone. Here's gonna be your mount and the plexiglass. Also the kit the mount, uh, plastic mounts for the brackets and plastic washers, but don't worry, they're very sturdy. I have these and they're solid. The uh, Geekworm or the LVDS 1.5, LVDS HMI did not work on Killer Instinct. Not only did it not work on Killer Instinct, it did not work on Fast and Furious. So I tested it on one more cabinet to make sure I wasn't going crazy and it does work on Big Blue. So the Geekworm or the LVDS to HDMI 1.5, it is functional and it is working. They just don't work on the cabinets that I wanted to mod, unfortunately. So it looks like we're gonna be modding a Big Blue today with a 20 inch screen. But have no fear, I'm going to try putting in a Unicode monitor claims to work with Arcade One Up, but we'll be the judge of that. Once I pick up a monitor, we'll try that. But for now, we're gonna do the 20 inch and the big blue. We're gonna take our cabinet, unplug everything, take it off the riser, lay it down flat, and we're gonna remove one of the panels from the top piece. Once the panel's off, we're gonna unscrew the monitor right here, and then we're gonna prep our new kit and we'll put that in here. But for now, let's get this uh, unscrewed and removed. Go ahead and screw the uh, washers and the screws into the back of the uh, board. That's gonna secure this, don't make it too tight yet. What you're gonna wanna do is you want something like a level and you wanna stand the monitor up and make sure that the stand is level. Then once you see that it's centered, you can screw it in because if you do this crooked, once you mount it in the cabinet, you're gonna see that your monitor is completely crooked. So. Level it out and then tighten it down. I'm going to securely screw down our anchor points. The next step is to prep the bezel. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the bezel down and then we're going to put the uh, plexiglass over. We're going to line it up. And once it's nice and squared off, we're going to use our power drill to drill down through here because they have it pre-drilled through the, through the glass, but not through the actual bezel. So once you line that up, drill the hole straight through so that when you screw it down, it'll go through both. Grab some rubbing alcohol and clean down your monitor edges because we're gonna put some tape down to attach the bezel to the monitor. So we have to wipe it down and make sure there's no dirt on there because otherwise the tape won't stick properly. Here's a monitor with the tape around the bezel. Then we're just gonna press it down. Make sure there's no dust on your screen. If you do, just use a Swiffer wipe to wipe down any dust or also you can use this but I would suggest blowing and then using a Swiffer wipe just to make sure there's no debris. It's all set now we're gonna put this in the cap. Go ahead and plug everything back in make sure it works and then if once you see that it's working we can tidy it up and make it look nice. All right 
right, looks good. All right. All right, I guess we can put this thing back together. So here it is, we're all set. 20 inch monitor installed. Now I just wanna show you something. If you turn on your cabinet and you see something that looks like this, that is called a uh, desync. And that happens sometimes with the, with the uh, LVDS 1.5. So basically what you just gotta do is just turn the cabinet off. You know, maybe wait 10 seconds. Turn it back on. Looks like we're all set. There you have it guys. The 20 inch monitor has been installed in the big blue. I'm so surprised this really didn't work with uh, Killer Instinct or Fast and Furious. So at least we learned something new today. You can't upgrade those screens, but we'll see what happens. We'll try it with a Unico next time. Anyway. Spread love, I hate. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.